We've come a long way since the ancient days of leeches and urine colour charts. Medical advances in science are allowing us to live longer and healthier lives. Unfortunately, arthritis is becoming more prevalent. The cartilage in our body is being worn down. When I was younger, I wanted to be a doctor or a surgeon because I liked the idea of helping people. I was in a lecture at Durham University and a professor gave a talk about finger joint popping and how it applies in an engineering context. And I realised that engineering could, in fact, be applied to the human body. It was then that I thought that I could marry my two passions of engineering and medical science in one discipline. My name is Alice Young and currently I'm doing a PhD in structural biomechanics. That's applying engineering principles to the body. This is the lab where I'm working and I'm developing a model to test implants for hip replacement surgery. So here I have a pelvis and this is the femur. And normally these will go together like this. When you get arthritis, the cartilage wears away and the two surfaces come together and rub against each other and it creates a massive amount of pain. So for example with Catherine Hepburn when she had hip replacement surgery, they would have removed her femoral head, cut it off across here, and create a hole down the centre of the shaft, then hammer the joint in at the correct angle. At the moment I'm working on a model to test artificial hip and knee joints. My model's advantageous to the world because previously implants would only have been tested in a simplified model or in the body, whereas now new designs can be thought of and tested directly in the computer in a safe environment, therefore helping to improve the innovation of implants. Here's where the hip force is applied, and you do that by bringing the loader down, applying a force. And then surrounding the bone is loads of muscles and ligaments which create a force on the bone. To apply the muscle forces, I'm using this pneumatic system. So air is fed in through this tube into this cylinder here. And the cylinder pulls, so as that wire is pulling up, it's applying a force. So if you can imagine, this is attached to the femur here, and this end would be attached to the equivalent space on the pelvis. My favourite example of engineering is the bicycle and I use the bike every day in order to cycle into the lab. It's so simple in its design and the way that you can generate your own power. And someone made that idea work. When I was at school I only used to consider engineering to be building bridges or fixing someone's car. Which is odd because it's engineering which turns every idea in the world into reality. I think one of the really interesting unsolved questions in my field is the possibility of replacing metal artificial joints with regenerated bone stock or cartilage. I don't think this is something I'll be able to do in my lifetime, but potentially it's something that you could do in the future.